Well, hello, Capricorn. Beautiful rising good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So, welcome or welcome back, Capricorn, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. So, uh, yeah, all of my readings are intended to be timeless. Did I already say this? Yeah. So, whenever you have found this video is when you're meant to hear the message. All right. So Capricorn, I have turned over all of the decks so that you can see what is hidden for you. The bottom of the deck represents what is ahead that you do not see coming. So let's take a look at the message. So for your tarot card or for your, the tarot deck, you have the King of Pentacles with security. So the King of Pentacles is your energy, Capricorn. You know, it is an earth sign. You are an earth sign. So this is the highest earth energy that there is so you are stepping into some security so for the let's see let's turn these over so for your oracle deck you have creation number 39 so this is the beaver moon with creation oops and we also have mouse spirit for the spirit animal deck and it says tend to the small things so I feel that moving forward, Capricorn, what you don't see coming is that as you tend to more and more of the small things, you are setting the foundation for your own security. And the more that you create, find yourself in your creation energy, the more that you are creating and tending to the small things, you are setting yourself up to be more and more secure. So, yeah, it's bringing you into your King of Pentacles energy, which is your absolute energy, you know, like, that's you. So I feel that with that, you know, that's bringing you into alignment with who you truly are. And, you know, but I feel that it's from a soul place. So, yeah, I like that. Wow. I really like that message. I'm like, huh, where did that even come from? But I like it. I like that for you. I love it for you, actually, Capricorn. So, yeah, we all deserve to have our security. Look at you're flipping the cards over instead of just letting them come out. Now we're getting all these sneak peeks. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I love that so much for you. All right. Okay, Capricorn, let's dive into your energy for this week as i am recording this it is 888 meaning today is 88 august 8th this is the lion's gate portal and because 2024 is a eight year this is the triple eight so speaking of card number eight you have card number 38 <laughs> for your animal spirit this week and it's number 38 which also adds up to 11 and 11 is about for me it's like opening up your consciousness so like an expansion uh you know like new ideas or new projects or whatever so you have the lizard spirit with dream the world into being and that's like the perfect 11 message also that's the perfect message for this 888 portal that we are in so Ah, yeah, amazing. So dream your world into being. Let's read. Let's read what it has to say. All right, lizard spirit. When was the last time you basked in the sun and allowed yourself to daydream, to imagine what what might be and who you might become? Lizard spirit appears when you are called to let your imagination flow and dream something new. Inspiration is available to you now if you are willing to slow down and let your eyes close a little, allowing ideas to dance in your head. Love it. What might come into being if you were to pursue your dream? How might you grow and expand if you allowed yourself to dare to believe in, um, in the impossible, making it possible first in your dreaming mind and then in the world as you co-create with spirit? 
Give in to the power of imagination and soon your dream will become clearer. The steps will reveal themselves and what was ephemeral will begin to coalesce into form. Dream it and be it. Spirit asks you to dare to dream big. Like that. Dream big. I love it, Capricorn. All right. In your recent past, you have card number one, the dark moon with void. So I feel that in your recent past, you were just kind of in a place of, I'm not going to say like a place of darkness. I feel that this is a place of like in between, kind of a place of not knowing. And so like the lights are out. So it's like you didn't know exactly which way to go. You didn't know if you were going up, down, round and round. Um, you were just kind of figuring it out. And so, like, you see, like, she's just kind of just, like, laying there, like, waiting for, it looks like she's just waiting for something to come to, like, get her up to be like, hey, what are you doing? Let's go this way. So I feel this was you in your recent past energy, just kind of like, okay, I'm in a place, I know I'm somewhere, <laughs> but not sure where. And your tarot card is the king of swords with knowledge. So you have two kings coming in for you. So you saw that the king of pentacles was in your future energy and right in your past energy. You have the king of swords with knowledge. So I feel that while you were in this void energy, you were gaining a lot of knowledge. You were learning a lot. And you were, I feel that this was the time to like cut out the BS basically. And, you know, like learn what you needed to do or you know dive into something that was that is for you so yeah i love that into your present energy you have card number nine with assessing first quarter moon so i feel like right now in your present energy you are assessing you're assessing your future you're trying you know you're looking forward to see like look at like she's looking at this card like seriously like what's what's under that card flip it over. Let's see what's under it. Um, so like you are assessing your future. What do you want to do? What really like, what do you want to dream into form? Like, what is it that you, where is it that you see yourself? What is it that, what imprint are you going to leave on this earth? So I feel this is you right now in your present energy, just kind of figuring it out. And I love it. And nice, like I said, figuring it out. You have the Eight of Pentacles with perfection. So it's like this is something that you are working on right now. You are really working towards like looking, okay, what is it that I want to do? You're really taking your time to perfect, you know, like to get into like the energy of, okay, this is what I'm working on and I want it to be right. So I know I'm like... <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I want it to be right because I want to move forward with this or I want, you know, when I move forward, I want, you know, this result or this is my goal or whatever. Capricorns, you know, you're all about like work, 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 work. So, <laughs> so this eight of pentacles energy is like perfectly describing you so I love that this is right now in your present energy because you are working on the perfection that is your future nice so moving forward guess what you see <laughs> full moon and power moving forward you are stepping into your full power and however that applies to you whatever that means to you and however that looks to you it's all it's going to be different for everyone but you are stepping into your power so maybe you're finally seeing how powerful you are maybe you're finally feeling how powerful you truly are and this is oh I don't, it feels so good like you see how she's like like look at how you went from you're on the ground like, you're laying on the ground, like, okay, don't know what to do. And, like, in this one, you have, like, rose, risen, rose, um, I don't know. You rose, ra rise, I don't know what the word is. Gosh darn, but whatever. So, and here, here, in your present energy, you have, like, lifted. You are, like, very lifted. And in this one, is like, you are even higher than you are in this hot air balloon like in this one you are in the moon so it's like you are in the process right now of truly like raising yourself up 
and this could be into a like a new vibration into a new like tax bracket it could be a new job it could be a new position within your job whatever it is but it's like you're starting at started at the bottom <laughs> and now you're here so moving forward you're going to be here in your full power nice i love it and you have the lovers with decisions so maybe moving forward you find yourself in a relationship or this is just you making the um, decisions that you need to in order to step into the next chapter of your life. So however it applies to you, you will know. But wow, this is beautiful. Like you are making decisions from a powerful place in your future energy. So wow, I love it. I love it. So Wow, Capricorn, this has been another of your readings. I hope you all found something that resonates for you. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, please remember to hit that thumbs up, that like button. If you are watching this on Fanbase, then hit that love. Give it a little heart. If you are watching this on Unite the 99, I don't know if I can upload videos there yet, but uh, hey, yeah, so there. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, thank you so very much for being here. If you are subscribed to this channel, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your journey. And with that, Capricorn, I'll see you in your next one.